I'd like to tell you about controlling your emotions through hypnosis. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Does your entire life seem to be run by the way you feel? Sometimes you feel great, other times terrible, and for the majority of the time you feel just all right. When you feel great on top of the world, doesn't it feel like you can achieve anything? When you feel down, depressed, or negative, don't you feel like nothing is worth the effort? And even if it were, you probably would fail anyway? As I've said, most of the time you will find yourself somewhere in the middle, just muddling through life day by day. But what do you think you could accomplish if you could control your emotional state and evoke any emotion you wanted? In order to develop this skill, you must first realize what an emotion is. Emotions are not monsters or masters of your state. They are merely feelings that you create from your own perceptions. You evoke emotions based on internal and external circumstances that themselves are usually based on your past experiences. When you experience a feeling, it is only an emotion that has been triggered by your thoughts. And these thoughts, in turn, have been triggered by your memories. These memories can be either pleasant or painful, depending on how you processed the situation when it initially occurred. When confronted with it, with a similar situation or event in the present, your brain replays these memories at a conscious or usually unconscious level and feeds back to you the emotion associated with it. We give our emotions and feelings many different names, like joy, pleasure, happiness, fear, pain, frustration, anger, Bob, and Sue. But there are really only two emotions. One feels good and the other feels bad. I'm sure you know the effects of feeling good and bad. You know that when you undertake a task and feel good about it, it is much more likely to succeed than if you feel bad about it. In fact, if your feelings are very bad, you will probably not even attempt the undertaking at all. Fear takes over. What if you could feel good in situations where before you felt bad? What do you think that would mean to you? Your emotional responses reside in your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is far, far, far more powerful than your conscious mind. Your subconscious mind controls your emotions, and it is responsible for feeding the feelings to you at a conscious level. This is why it can be so hard or almost impossible for you to create emotions consciously. You can't just tell yourself to be happy and suddenly you are filled with joy. In fact, the opposite usually occurs as your subconscious mind reinforces the initial emotion and thoughts with more of the same. So how do you combat this? Well, since your emotional responses reside in your subconscious mind, it stands to reason that if you want to change them, you need to gain access to your subconscious and reprogram it, just like a computer. So how do you do this? Well, thankfully, there is a way, and it's much, much easier than you think. It is, of course, called hypnosis. Through the use of hypnosis or self-hypnosis, you can easily and quickly gain access to the subconscious mind. Okay, all that sounds great, you may say, but what do I do then, Sherlock? Well, a skillful hypnotist, whether in person or on a recording, can very quickly anchor new feelings to old memories. He can take a memory that has some very bad emotional responses connected to it and neutralize those emotions. Then he will reconnect your old memory with new positive emotions. This involves the use of some very advanced forms of NLP, or Neuro Linguistic Programming, which can also be used very effectively without hypnosis. The positive effects of these techniques leaves you free from old memories that block you from moving forward in your life, and also reprogram your mind to feel optimistic and hopeful when confronted with similar situations in the present and future. It's pretty fantastic. This is also how phobias are dealt with, and explaining this process should give you some idea of the power and benefits of using it on other emotional issues.
Now, everyone knows that a fear of spiders is irrational in most cases and has no foundation in truth. A house spider can do you absolutely no harm. So you get a hypnosis recording to deal with your arachnophobia. So what happens? First, the hypnotist will relax your mind and body and then get you to think of a happy scene filled with lovely, beautiful creatures that you like. Say, for instance, you love little fluffy kittens. He will immerse you in the image and guide you to the beauty of the animal and evoke kindly, loving emotions. Then he will ask you to think of a spider. He may get you to put roller skates on it and watch it trying to walk or get you to imagine it has a funny face or kindly demeanor. In this way, he will neutralize the negative feelings you currently hold about the arachnid. Then he will connect the previous image of the kittens and thus the positive emotions associated with it to the image of the funny spider. You will also be guided to see the beauty of this little creature and its usefulness in nature. Thus, sometimes in one session, you can completely reverse a phobia. And it's much more powerful when you open that tunnel, that gateway, to directly to the subconscious mind. Very powerful. Very effective. Likewise, the emotional response to any situation, circumstance, person, or event can be reversed to whatever positive emotion response you want. Such is the power of hypnosis and the creativity of your mind. You will merely learn to react in a different way, more positive way, and through my modern mental techniques you can learn to do it in any way you desire. So, there really is no excuse to suffer at the hands of your negative emotions anymore. You can reprogram your mind to feel any way you want. Check it out. You may just like it. Now, in my experience, hypnosis has taken care of everything I've ever needed taken care of or needed improved upon. It's because hypnosis is simply a tunnel directly into your subconscious mind, which is, as I said, far, far, far more powerful than the conscious mind. When you can get in there, into your subconscious mind, with persistence, you can have anything you want at all. And it's much easier than persisting with your conscious mind. <whistles> much easier. Your life can look however you want it to look. I am proof of that. And thousands and millions of others are as well. And that's why I'm helping people reach these high levels. Hypnosis is simply the tool to get there. It's like taking a path. And if you're serious or think you want to be serious about hypnosis, make sure to check this site out right here. This site is helping thousands of people do incredible things with their lives, whatever they want. And you can check it out instantly by clicking the link in my video description below. I hope you found this video article informational. This is Drew Lumino, and thank you.